You know, this eye is not telling you anything more than what you already know. So don't waste your time. But it's <clears throat> maybe a confirmation. Or a recollection of what the mind you may have forgotten. This life is mystical. It is a miracle. It is magical. There are not one moment the same as another. No two experiences. It appears as if we have different gods, we have different bodies, we have different um, minds, we have different personalities, we have different qualities, but we're all the same. Because life or consciousness in itself just creates different things about us, about everything. It doesn't want to reproduce a flower with two petals that are exactly the same. That's boring. That's repetitive. We humans look for routine. We look for repetition. All grains against what really is taking place. Even the sun does not cycle the same twice. Even the stars are not in the same place in any two particular moments. All the universe is moving, changing. Your whole internal body moving, changing. Your skin changing. The world changing. Your actions changing. No two sleep patterns the same. No two moments of silence the same. Consciousness is one whole thing, revealing newness in every single nanosecond, in every single place in this world, in this universe, in this cosmos, in this galaxy. Now, if your mind is not enticed into saying, wow, wow, because we find it difficult to try and recreate that repetition, that routine every day. Our mind thinks it can control it. It can create some sort of routine that will, can, that will keep the wheel moving at the same speed every time. Therefore, we have found emptiness and happiness. We are just balanced being, just everything is taking place on its own. And consciousness is that what is taking place on its own. But until your mind is balanced, meaning acceptance, trust and faith in every single thing, even death, even viruses, even the, the, the fact that, you know, your head could be blown off at this very moment, it means nothing to consciousness. Once that has been overcome, and it is absolutely impossible to maintain that also for a period of time because that becomes routine. It is the acceptance to change. It is the understanding that you will never be able to make two things appear as the same. Even through science, even through your projects at school. Every time you make the cake, there may be one or two grains of sugar, even though it's identically measured. Even though you count the grains of sugar. The cake will never be the same, never have that same taste, that same flavour, because the flavours in the mouth are changing. There is no stability, there is nothing stable in consciousness. But in the core of consciousness, that axis that keeps you spinning around, the, the earth spinning around, the universe spinning around, that what is beyond all scientific discoveries or religious discoveries or um, personal discoveries, even though there is a flavour of it in a personal way through your own consciousness and your journey, apparent journey within, you're always looking from that axis. So the, the, the stability is you wanting to recreate something that reflects you, but not knowing that how can you reflect yourself? If you were managed to create one moving image that never faded, never changed, what would be the point of continuation? 
I want to reflect myself as stable. Someone comes with a camera. Never change. It's an unchanging image. You've succeeded. It's the end. There's no point. There's no point in delving through consciousness, trying to create more stability. You've done it. Who wants to do it? Who wants to create an image of themselves as unmoving? Meaning, not sensory moving, but dead, still. Not even a micro atom molecule moving within you. Absolutely no life. No mind wants that. No being wants that. The purpose is not to find stability. You are stable. The, find, the purpose is to go with the flow. Accept everything. Accept your death. Accept your kindness. Accept being robbed by the burglar. Accept your illness. Accept everything. Who can do that? What mind can do that? Because you're surrounded by people who will not let you accept these things. Other minds, confused, but moving. So therefore you have to accept them also. Who can accept everything that takes place, even that what is, a, is a, a, associated with, with badness? What can do it? Consciousness does not know what it is creating. It just creates. It creates out of love. And through this love, love appears as you, as a newborn baby, as a blade of grass, as a nice cup of coffee. When you know that everything is here love-based, there is no need to accept. You are accepting. Because you have this mind that says every single thing is trying their best. Even in the trying to control, trying to manipulate, they are trying for some sort of purpose, some sort of reason. When you are trying to stabilize everything and nullify everything and find that infinite death, You don't have to try any harder, because you are that. You are that infinite stable thing, experiencing life through consciousness. Consciousness gives you no choices. The freedom to accept that there are no choices. The freedom to accept that there are no ways, no methods, no practices. It's all a removing of the ideas and concepts that one was gifted through other minds and your mind, your imaginations, your thoughts, to do with what you want, to use choices. But when it's all denied and all let fade away, all you're doing is becoming closer to that stability that you are and seeing the world as a more unified, slow, simple, Beautiful, magical mystery unfolding with a mind that can make it, that can enhance its qualities, can make it sound as if it is much more wonderful than what it is. But the wonder is not in the quality of how everything appears. The wonder is that it appears and it will not not appear. You are a miracle. You are a mystery. You are magical. Every moment of your day should be spent in awe of what you are and what the world is around you. Accepting that whatever comes, it will come. And I will be there to witness it as that stable thing. Watching myself unfolding, myself transcending, myself dying, myself just being. Total consciousness as one. We're not alone in the world as one individual. The world is a one thing, a one whole thing. 
that we are all little aspects of as a mind. So, you already knew that. And if you push yourself through this ten and a half minutes and it's done something and it's reconfirmed, then you've accepted your life. You've accepted this being. You've accepted everything as one whole magical moment that goes on and on and on and on and on. And like the rumbling of the stomach, simply appears and disappears with no end. <laughs>